Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here and today I want to bring you a full camera test of what is dubbed to be the flagship killer of the year, the OnePlus One. So lately there has been a ton of hype surrounding this phone, mostly due to its top end specs in almost every single category without really cutting any corners at least from what we can see. But the fact that it comes at an off contract price of less than half of your typical flagship smartphone. And with a 16GB price of $299 and a 64GB price of $349, you would expect the company to make some compromises or cut some corners in some category, the camera most likely being one of them. But that doesn't seem to be the case here, at least on the spec sheet. It features a 13 megapixel Sony Exmor IMX214 sensor with 6 lenses to avoid distortion and color aberration, dual LED flash, an aperture of f2.0, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. It is also able to capture video at up to a 4K resolution in both UHD and DCI, and also allow you to do slow motion recording at 120 frames per second in 720p. So before I show you guys some of the shots I had, as well as the 4K video recording quality, I want to show you guys around the software. The OnePlus One does run a custom version of CyanogenMod called CyanogenMod 11S, and the camera app is actually very easy and beautiful to navigate. By sliding through your menus, it allows you to very quickly and easily navigate through some of the different filters built in, and going into your camera settings, there is actually quite a few options. First, you have your size options, quality, burst mode, slow shutter speed, touch focus duration, ISO, and stuff like that. And in video, you have your quality settings, whether it is 4K UHD, Full HD or DCI mode, slow motion at 720p, time lapse mode, video codec, audio codec, so just a whole bunch of customization that you notice on the OnePlus One that you may not otherwise find on other smartphones. And the way of navigating your menus is very smooth and I really like the level of transparency that it has as you can see in these settings. You can also access things while you're taking your image in live view whether it is the exposure, your white balance, auto enhance, you can also switch it to HDR mode like I said from sliding through the screen and there's just a switch camera and your flash options. So in general everything is very easy and upfront. And of course on your right side you have your different modes. So now that I've walked you guys through the camera app you can sit back relax and hope you guys enjoy the clips. Also make sure you're watching this video in full 4k resolution. Thank you. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed those photo and video samples and I just wanted to say that it is without a doubt that at this price point this is hands down the best camera and it even competes with some of the flagship smartphones priced more than two times of the OnePlus One. Although in terms of the image processing you did notice that some of these shots the camera tend to overexpose a little bit, some of these things can be fixed in software and hopefully they do down the road, but I have to say at this price I'm sure nobody can complain. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for some future coverage and I'll see you all in the next video.